All right, hi, uh, Dane here, I'm back. Um, may not even seem like I've been gone, depending on where these uh, videos edit out at. Um, so I pulled the prop out, I got, well, I had the cross, ba cross brace uh, upper base side glued, pulled that out, pulled the stick out, glued this up, pulled the clamps off this morning, uh, or actually I think it's noon now. Took a hike this morning. The um, uh, put the prop back in, and um, you're not going to be able to see this really. You can try. Uh, no. Anyway, so there's a uh, there was the big crack that I just glued up, going through here. And then there's a little guy right here, and this is the one I'm after right now. Actually, this is the little guy right here. This was the big crack back here. So shorter one, only a couple inches long, two and a half inches long. Uh, this is one of the reasons, check in to see, yeah, you can see that. Okay, well, you can see my fingers. Check in to see, sorry. Uh, another reason I got these magnets, okay. Magnets, is to help me locate inside where, uh, well, primarily where the cleats are gonna go, but then also, right here in this crack and there again you get, I don't think you can see maybe, maybe it's a kind of a white specky looking thing right there that's actually a little proud on top and this whole crack is proud on top of the bottom so now I can push this in over here and make this line up so that's not a problem but no matter what I seem to do here this wants to stay proud so what I want to do is get my hand in there and hold the bottom out as I push the top in a little bit to see if I can get it to, to realign. Um, I might have to put a little more pressure on my uh, my separator stick in there. I have some on it right now, not a lot. Um, I'm not wanting to put too much pressure on there because this other crack I did glue up, I don't want to pull apart. And it is currently glued and stained. Um, so. I'm going to use a magnet and I'm going to put, you know, put one on the outside where I want them. So I know where I'm at inside and make sure I'm pushing in the right place. That's the long and the short of it. And I think that my, my prop might actually be uh, in my way in this case. And so I can pull this light out here to where it'll light up the side so you can see it. There we go. Is this is the spot right here? Interesting that you can't see that it's you've got a definite white line on top of the crack that I can see. So I'm gonna, oh, gonna get in here and see if I can get this to connect. Yeah, that that spot is right exactly behind the brace that I have in there holding this apart. So. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna have to do is move the brace that way so that I can get my finger because I can't get any pressure around it. So I'm gonna move, move that down over here out of the way, and then move this brace downhill. I'm probably gonna loosen this brace up as I go, or excuse me, it's not a brace. It's a well, just a spreader stick here. I'm afraid. Oh, yeah, I just knocked it out. Let's see. There's also these um, reinforcing strips that go up the side. There's one uh, right about here. I'm just to the side of it, so there's one right here. And I feel a little piece of glue stuck there. It's probably up on this one. So the next strip is right there. So there's a strip there and then a strip over here where I was. Anyway, so just to give myself an indication of where I'm at, I'm going to put the magnet right there. You know, interestingly enough, that magnet is holding that thing totally flush. So I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to do is I'm going to 
Oops. I'm going to stick this magnet over here. I'm going to get this spreader stuck back in there. Get the glue in it. And then uh, pop the stick out, slide the magnet into place. All right. I'm, uh, I'm not going to try to do that on the camera. You saw me glue the other one. Um, this has got to be about as exciting as watching paint dry. All right. So I'll bring you back in later on, catch you up to what's going on here. Okay, I'm just bringing you back in to show you this. Um, so, got the magnets on here, really helped line everything up good. So I decided to go ahead and use the uh, larger set as well. Um, I've got a little, I can feel this a little bit right here, but it's very insignificant. And the reason I can feel it is because um, the whole the whole sink sort of undulates a little bit, you know. So basically, what I've got there is it's not coming together like this; it's coming together like that. Okay, so uh, it's possible that with the cleat behind that, it will it will flatten out the side more so. And the reason I um, the reason I didn't cleat this one first, or one of the reasons I didn't cleat that one first, is because I probably got this, these cracks kind of go past each other. So I'll probably just use a diamond cleat right in here and kind of catch the ends of both of these cracks with one cleat. So anyway, uh, that's got to set up for a while, and then I'll, uh, I'll move on. Got, uh, I've got uh, one down here around the, the butt end of the thing. Uh, that one ran around to here. This one starts again here. And then I've got a line right here. I'm not sure it's a three crack. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to move. I got a couple things on the back that uh, I'm going to treat, although I don't think they go all the way through. I can't find them inside. This one could possibly be under the center seam here, um, but this one over here, there's another one lower down, uh, and they're really hard to see actually. But uh, there's one right here, which is just below that center line, so it could be under the center seam. And then the uh, the other one is further down here, and I can't see it on the inside of the guitar at all. So I think it's just a finish crack. But I'm I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go in there with uh, some high glue, rub some high glue into that that little gap there in the finish, and uh, and then wipe that off. So that should take care of me there as well. Glued up a couple more cracks here. Let's see. There you go. It's sitting there drying on the second one for today. And, uh, and so I thought, well, while that's uh, drying, I will take this opportunity to make some cleats. Now, I don't know if there's a particular size cleats should be. This is a rip from a side, mahogany sides that I haven't bent yet for a 335. Uh, they're about a half an inch uh, this away. Can't see that, but it says 496, so it's half inch. 500 would be a half inch. And then a sixteenth of an inch that way, uh, 0 066. Uh, so about sixteenth. Um, so I'm going to, I think, what I'm going to do is uh, just set my caliper at half an inch. Right about there. And uh, lock it in. That's what I meant to do, rather than turn it off. Lock it in. And then I'm just going to, uh, I'll do it from this side, pretty much, uh, you know, mark a half inch square and cut it off with my little razor saw. And again, and again, and again, and again. So I'm just gonna make a pile of half inch squares, 16th of an inch thick. Then I'm gonna take them over to a little sanding block and bevel all four edges so that it's uh, more like a 30 second on the edge down to you know 30 second then a bevel up to the top so half of that thickness half of a half inch or excuse me a sixteenth and uh, and then I'm going to I could orient them just straight up and down on the uh, you know on the crack and then have just exactly have you know grains reversing each other um, I'm going to put them in on a diamond you're still not going to have uh, you're not going to have grain running parallel, although that would you know since there's this isn't cracked it would uh, it would also help reinforce. But I I just like the idea of them being in there on a diamond, 
rather than just straight up and down. So if somebody looks in there, you're not just seeing these little blocks around the side of the guitar. And there are going to be quite a few of them, so um, I just kind of want to dress it up by putting them in on angle. And it's it's not going to uh, to hurt the uh, the strength of it at all because you're not you're still cross grained with the uh, sides. So just not 90 90 degree cross grain. Anyway, make any sense? That's what's happening. Uh, just trying to keep you in the loop here. So I just made 10 of these little patches, cleats. And, uh, well, I'm going to turn the camera down. All right, so you can kind of see that they're just half inch squares with little, little bevels all the way around on all four corners. So that didn't take too long. Yeah, I thought I hit the play button or record button. Um, I just put a deal in there. I'm checking to see if it looks like it's in as a diamond, and it is. And I only had a couple of minutes, so let me show you what I was, uh, what I did. I added a flag to the handle so that if I just let the thing dangle, I've got a straight up and down diamond. And so that's what I did there. And it seemed like it went right where it needed to go. Now, I probably will run out of time uh, before this one gets all the way in there. So, thanks for watching. And... Oh crap, just managed to get glue on the inside of the guitar.